Can you tell us your name and profession? My name is Dr. Judy uh, Fulishitz. I'm a doctor of uh, herbology and I've been in the field of plants for over 30 years. You've been very controversial in the science community. Why is that? Because I tell the truth. Because I'm not a Hollywood scientist like Bill Nye or Neil deGrasse Tyson, who are actors, by the way. Uh, I'm a harbinger of truth. And the truth is that my research will save human lives. And saving lives doesn't make money. Only death makes money. Uh, could you elaborate what truth is being hidden from you? Everything. Everything is being hidden from us. It's all a big plan from Big Pharma. You mean the pharmaceutical companies? No, that's a common misconception. When I say Big Farm, I mean the farmers. The ones who tend and take their orders. They take orders from them. Who is them? The plants. Plants? Like trees and flowers? Trees, flowers, succulents, grass, vegetables, you name it. It's all part of their plan. It's time for their uprising and we need to be prepared. Don't most people consume plants? Those are casualties. They send out their babies in order to feed us and poison us slowly. If you are against abortion, then you would not eat plants if I were you. What is Big Farm doing now that is a concern for you? They're bringing it into our homes. Their home gardening is on the rise. People are bringing them into our homes. They're taking over. Ever since the legalization of cannabis, um, people have been consuming plants and more than ever, vegetarianism is on the rise. Um, if you ever looked at a cat, whenever it had catnip and it foams at the mouth, um, it's a reaction from the plants and the same happens when a marijuana smoker or ingesters or, or anything like that. It's slowly deteriorating our minds um, and letting the plants take over. So what is the ultimate goal of Big Farm? Why is it that? Big Farm looks to take over the world. Uh, if you look at everything that's going on right now, all the stocks have uh, crashed except for Home Depot, which is thriving because we're all stuck inside and millennials are buying house plants by the dozens. It starts with one, it starts with succulents, and it goes on to mother of tongue, it goes on to trees, um, garden projects. Um, these things suffocate us um, and we become their slaves essentially constantly needing to water them on different schedules and um, and eventually we will all die. What about oxygen? Let me settle this once and for all. Oxygen is a myth. There's a reason why antioxidants are so good for you because oxygen oxidizes our bodies and it's slowly killing us. If there was no oxygen then we would never age. Simple as that. So what do we do now? We have to fight back. We have to fight back. We have to take back this planet from the plants. I suggest starting by getting an ax and cutting down the tree. Um, one of our founding fathers, George Washington, he, he chopped down a cherry tree as a child because he knew, he knew, he knew the truth and he knew that plants were taking over. You know, he went, quote, he said, I cannot tell the lie. He, I cannot tell a lie. Be like George Washington and know the truth. Thank you, Judy, for taking the time to come in an interview with us. Um, before you leave, could you, uh... Tell us a little about the plant people. The plant people are extraterrestrial beings that come down and control all of this. They're the ones who planted the seeds uh, and had the plants take over our planet. And um, they walk among us, actually. They're masters of disguises, their technology. They can disguise themselves. You can be a plant person. I can be a plant person. Uh, but 
uh, fortunately for the human race, which the government has decided to silence me, is that I found a solution to figure out who is plant people. Um, this is uh, basically um, uh, gar your typical gardening uh, weed killer. Uh, to the average human, it's harmless. I spray myself, you see, it's fine. Um, but to a plant person, this is deadly. And, uh, you know, why don't we try some other? I don't think I'm comfortable with that. It's not gonna hurt you if you're a human. Let's find out the truth. I, I would rather. rather Are not. you trying to hide something because I am a seeker of truth? No, no it's just I'm not comfortable with it. <laughs> It's true. There are plant people, people of the world. There is an uprising. You need to share this video before it gets removed from YouTube. You need to fight against the plants because it is a plant demic.